data set from Boston housing data. It's fairly old, and so the numbers don't make a whole lot of sense, but basically we've got values for crime, zone, industrial, um, we have this, these definitions here, um, and this column over here, n, is median value. So what we're trying to do is use these values to predict the median value. And let's see, we have it's like 500 observations. All right, so let's just do a very simple regression. I'm going to use Excel stat, modeling data, linear regression. And zoom me over here. Um, my dependent variable is here. My independent variable. So the tool I'm going to use to try and predict price is age. I have labels. All right, so it's done. And first question, is this model good at all? Yes, um, the values are statistically different than zero. What about individually? Yes, each value is statistically significant. So what this is showing is that um, for every year older the house gets, the median value drops by um, 123. You can see this equation here, that the median value is equal to an intercept value times or minus um, age times this coefficient. So a one unit increase in age is associated with a 123 unit decrease in median value. That's real simple. We can see there's a relationship between age and median value. We could accomplish the same thing using the visual approach. Um, it's a crazy. It's not what I want. So I've got age as my x-axis and value is my y-axis. I'm gonna, I just right clicked on a data point and hit add trend line. So it added a trend line. You can make that trend line. Um, instead of blue, we'll make it red so it's easier to see. And then I'm gonna come down here and uh, hit display equation and display R squared on the chart. Um, so where did they go? Here they are. All right, so you'll see this is equation that we have is the exact same as what we got from here. Um, our R squared, for example, is 0.14. And you'll see here the R squared is 0.14. The intercept is the same. So this is the exact same. It's just another way of getting that same value. So I could take this and I could save it as an image uh, and use it. All right. So that's using my age to predict median value. Let's see what else we have here. Average number of rooms. Okay. So let's make this more complicated. And we're going to use two variables to predict median value. Linear regression. I'm keeping the same one here. Um, my explanatory variables are going to be these two columns now.
I will try to get it and close up. So my quantitative variables, I have two. And I can see that actually increased how much of the variance is explained. This model is still statistically significant. Age is still important. But now the value of age is actually far less important. Um, now it's associated with the $73 increase, decrease in the value of a home. What's more important here, it looks like, is the um, number of rooms. So if you have, you have this equation here. So we can say, let's do a prediction be this plus this. Say our, our property has six homes and uh, it's 10 years old. Then the estimated price would be 24,404. And then we can see here um, our predicted values for everything and how, what the actual value was and the predicted value for each property. We can continue to add variables to see what combination of variables are most useful, um, but that's how we do it.